I think that the lag effect is real. I think it's reasonable to say that, and this isn't going to be very brave, but it's true and true things are important. We are going to have a recession because that's the way the world works. It moves in cycles and we haven't had a, a real one for over a decade and a half, except for a short blip, which we all know. So we have a lot of excess we need to work out of the system. I think some of it's worked out and the cushion's much thinner and we can unpack that in more detail. But there is more access to go. And the longer we go until we get that recession, the more leverage there is to the downside. So I'd first say that. Um, and then I would say that whenever capital reprices this aggressively, and it has priced very aggressively, and it's repriced in a short period of time, things break. So you asked about the, the lag. There is a lag, and more things are going to break. We've already broken a couple of things, or almost broken them. We almost broke the UK pension market, and we broke some regional banks. Um, and there's going to be more dislocation ahead, clearly, as capital reprices.